And I know they really wish we would fall till we fall on the big bad wolf is a full moon. Hello guys, Wolfster here today, and today we are doing another uh, talk show, uh, aftermath show of uh, what happens after The Walking Dead. What I'll be doing is talking about what happened, kind of reviewing the episode, update you guys if you haven't seen it, and if you did not see it and you don't want any spoilers, I'll let you know when not to tune into the video and turn off. But anyway guys, uh, we all know about Abraham and Glenn's death. Uh, some people say Glenn had to die to save the show, some other people had to say... Uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff I don't know the truth yet. I've been researching into it a lot. But um, anyway, guys, this new episode was very relaxing since Gwen and Abraham's death. Um, we were able to have some relaxing, and we actually got to see where Morgan and Carol were at and, like, um what was happening and if you guys see me looking over here it's because I have the talking dead on after the walking dead I record this video right after but anyway guys if you don't want to hear any spoilers please exit the video now I'll give you a three second window one two three okay but anyway guys in the comics we all know after Glenn's death there's this gonna be this king uh, I don't really read the comics all that much, but Carol and Morgan got saved by this uh, renaissance type of uh, people, and they were all in a kingdom, and with this kingdom com comes with a king, and with this king... I it's really hard to say because he has a fucking tiger. Tiger, you know, big thing to eat your fucking face. I mean, just wow. How do you, just how? How does he have a tiger? Just, just, he has a fucking tiger. It's just wow. I mean, it's kind of unrealistic because I wouldn't think a tiger would survive a zombie apocalypse, but at the same time, you could get lucky. I mean, um,. I don't know if you guys played the Last of Us video game, but there was giraffes at the end of the game. But anyway, guys, a tiger. Um, and this group, King Ezekiel and Shiva, and Shiva is a tiger, King Ezekiel is the king. They live in this uh, Renaissance type of thing. Carol was, like, very, like, D this is fake. You guys can get in reality, and she is kind of leaving and going on her own path as Morgan stays with this group. Uh, Morgan also has uh, learned that with the group, he has helped the king do some unreasonable things that the king does not share with his people only the small group inside the kingdom knows because that small group helps him out and in this group what they do is they take pigs and they feed them to the and, the, and they feed off the walkers so walkers are the bait for these pigs the pigs eat the walkers and with these pigs what they do is they skin them and they get eight pigs every week and these eight pigs go to a group and that group delivers them to Negan. Um, Negan is a major play. Uh, we didn't see Negan knock on anyone's door yet. Um, this was all about Morgan and Carol. It wasn't really an exciting episode, but it was more or less a relaxing episode. And to be honest, King Ezekiel seems like he does not like Negan, but he has to do it to keep the way he wants to be. He wants to be a leader, but he doesn't want to be... Um, killed. He doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to destroy what he has already built up. And in my opinion, I feel like they brought this tiger in to more or less going to be, I am 95% sure this tiger is going to be the death of Negan. Um, I can either see the tiger just ripping Negan's empire to shreds when Rick's group's uh, finds King Ezekiel from Morgan and Carol. Um, I just feel like this tiger is going to have a major role because a 400 pound beast is not something to mess with. <laughs> Even in real life, it's not something to mess with. You have one of those teeth go down in you or claws, game over. Might as well just, you know, see the light. Just start walking the stairway up to heaven because that tiger will rip you to shreds if you piss it off. And I feel like when Rick's group finds King Ezekiel that the groups will come together and form against Negan 
and they will combine their towns. I feel like Rick's town's gonna go into King Ezekiel's. They're gonna barricade it up the hell, get as many people as they can in the group, and then they're just gonna unleash on Negan, do a sneak attack like they did on Terminus and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, guys, leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you want more Walking Dead videos. Um, I do a lot of other videos, but if you want more Walking Dead videos, put in the comment more Walking Dead videos, and I will do that for you guys. I always help out my viewers, and if you guys want to see more or want me to talk about something in The Walking Dead or just talk about anything about The Walking Dead, please list what you want me to talk about and this and that in the comments below. Please tell me your thoughts and opinion on what you think is going to happen next next uh, episode. Um, but anyway, guys, <laughs> it's just insane to see a tiger in The Walking Dead. A tiger. It's kind of unrealistic, but at the same time, it's cool as fuck. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Aftermath Talk Show, and I will see you guys in the next episode of The Walking Dead. Peace. Hey guys, Wolfster here today, and today we're...